It's amazing to see the commitment that you've got from high up in the organisation. Your passion for this really comes across. If we fast forward a year from now, five years from now, what does success look like for you? I mean, there's obviously things like the reduction in the number of investigations and things like that, but beyond that, what does success look like? It's a really good question. I think for me personally, I think the partnership we've had with CEDA has given us a strong foundation to really build on it. That was the real thing that I said, look, if we're going to do this, let's do it properly. Let's not play at it. Mm -hmm. Let's not just put a couple of people in and call them on birds and just see how it goes. We could, and a company this size, suddenly have multiple different inquiries coming in and we want to manage those because if you contact a new service like the Ombuds and don't hear anything for three weeks, you can think, well, what a waste of time that was. I've called up, I haven't heard anything back, no one's contacted me. Pff, Speak up, being heard. Exactly, yeah. walk the walk, talk the talk. So that's why we chose 20 to start with because we thought that gives us the bandwidth to be able to manage you know, volume if, if it starts to happen. Um, and I think if you fast forward five years time, I would like to think that the Ombuds is acknowledged and understood by the company, everyone in the company. If you said, how do I contact the Ombuds? People have got, I know where to go for the Ombuds. I understand what they do. I hope we've had many, many employees come through the service mm -hmm. and feel like, yes, that was a really worthwhile experience. I think there's going to be an ongoing training for the Ombuds team themselves because they will become more experienced um, and we can share that amongst the team. There'll be some new people come and join as Ombuds, I'm sure. It may grow um, depending on, on, on what happens. But I think from a cultural perspective, like I said earlier, all the feedback is this is needed in the company. We have a lot of issues that are heard by P&C, HR, P people and culture or, or uh, human resources or ethics and business integrity managers. Oh, I've got, what do, I, what do I do? And they might even be the person coming to the ombuds and saying, look, I've got a problem or a challenge with this employee. Can you help me manage this out? It's not all about, employees saying, I have a problem with management or this. It's for everybody in the company. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you're the CEO or someone working on the shop floor in one of our manufacturing sites, the service is there for everybody. Um, and I think if, if we could get to a place where the majority of the population in Zanofi, when you say on, but they go, oh, yeah, yeah I know that is. Yeah. I know someone has used it or I've used it. I've heard about it, it's supposed to be really good. And that will help when we start to share some of the insights that we gain. So. From a, from a data perspective, you have to be able to measure it to manage it yeah. and understand it. So we're capturing the topics that people are raising. We're capturing, capturing any kind of themes. We, we're completely anonymizing anything because that, that's the whole concept of the Ombuds. It's confidential. So we would report out to management or to, to the business, depending on, on who we were talking to, about themes, topics, trends, numbers. So if we had a particular pattern of a certain type of issue in a place, we would be able to identify quite quickly looking at our data and be able to then, along with the ombuds themselves, but hopefully work maybe on a slightly bigger scale to try and reduce that problem uh, going forward. Yeah. So that's, again, part of what we're trying to do here is reduce the number of conflicts that happen because people feel more empowered to manage things themselves, even if it's with advice from the ombuds. Um, and that, again, will make for a more you know, positive environment for people to come to work and, and, and operate in.